Oh, no way. No way. No way. I'm hooked up. No way. No way. He was right there. Oh, I almost went in. Oh, I did go in. Ow. Welcome back. Today, it's round two. We are at a very scenic spot. The water is ultra clear. The goal today is to catch some smallmouth. That's what we're here for. We're gonna try to redeem ourselves from not catching anything the last time we came to Lake Champlain. Without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so today I'm going to be strictly fishing with Ned Rigs. And so what I'll be using on that Ned Rig is either the Sakoshi Bug, which I mentioned in my unboxing video. If you guys wanna go watch that, learn more about them, these things are awesome. I'll primarily be using the Sakoshi Bug, but if that doesn't work, um, I might switch it up to the Guggen Baits Rattlin Ned. These are just two different takes on a Ned Rig. Both of them, smallmouth, absolutely love. So that's the goal today, catch some big smallies. Ha, it's kind of ironic. Big smallies. I never thought of that. Big smallies. Wow. Okay. Anyway, yeah. I'm going to show you guys how to rig it up, and then we're going to get to it. So, for the Ned Rig, we have the Sakoshi Bug and the hook. So, what you want to do is you're going to want it to stand up like that so what you do is you take this part right you feed it through the hook this took me a lot of tries before I actually was able to do it right almost every time so yeah but it's gonna take a bit so what you do is you just feed it through and then you want to get it about halfway and then you just poke it out the middle and it should look something like that final product. You want it as straight as possible. This is a little bit bent to the side, but it'll do just fine. And the key to this is as you're feeding the hook through the bait, you want to keep it as central as you can because if you put it off to the side even a tiny bit, these baits tend to lean to the side as you can see. So when you're fishing a Ned Rig like the one I am today, what you want to do is you want to cast it out there obviously that's what the step that's step one for everything fishing related but you want to cast it out there and then the most important part is let it drop to the bottom because why fish a ned rig if you're not going to fish it along the bottom it's designed to be weighted on the bottom and have the bait stand up and flap around <laughs> i know scientific words right so you cast it out there let it drop and then you just want to lightly drag it along, you want to slowly drag it along the bottom. And whenever you hit like a rock or a stick or something, just give it a little, get, just give it a little jerk. And a lot of the times the fish will bite on that little jerk because what that does to the bait is it makes the bait hop and like gives a little hop so it looks like a fleeing crayfish or something like that. So just a little tip on how to fish a Ned Rig and how to hopefully catch some big bass. Just because I caught like three fish last time doesn't mean I'm gonna catch any this time. It's never guaranteed. And that's what I don't think, That's I think that's something people don't really understand. Which is why I try to make some videos without fish. I know they're not usually the most entertaining, but you gotta understand that you don't catch fish every time you go. Especially if your career is not making fishing YouTube videos because if it is then you have the whole your whole life right it's your job you wake up <laughs> you go fishing you film it you come home you edit you post the money rolls in but with me wake up go to class <laughs> and then if I have time and not as too much work then I'll maybe fish for like an hour or so but I can't always catch fish in an hour whereas oh my god <sighs> whereas these youtubers have the whole day 
and they still may only catch one or none. And they don't usually post the videos where they don't catch any. Sometimes they do though. So in one of my classes called Natural Resources, we're learning about the phosphorus contamination and the blue-green algae that's in Lake Champlain. And right now, I don't know if you can see, but that rock sticking out, between that rock and me, there's little green particles in the water. That's all algae. And I would assume it's blue-green algae, which is not so good. That is very toxic. Only if you eat it, though. I have an hour left on my GoPro. This is why I really want a new one. Like, I have a Hero 3, and they're coming out with the Hero 8 in 10 days. No, tw in 12 days. <laughs> so, like, I'm kind of behind. Which is partly why my GoPro always dies, and it's also why the footage is not the highest quality. But... That's okay. Hopefully, my my wish is to get a GoPro 8 for Christmas. That's all. That's all. That's really all I want for Christmas. Because my parents are trying to save money for college and you know all that stuff. So I'm really just asking for a GoPro 8. And yeah, because like I've had the same phone for four years. And it still works fine, doesn't have any cracks. So, I mean, I definitely saved the money in that aspect. So, hopefully they'll buy into my little bargain deal. Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, we caught something today. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a lake mussel. Boop, off he goes back into the abyss. Wow. Ugh. Doing some squat action. It's going for the better angle. Oh no way. No way. No way I'm hooked up. No way the squat did it. What is it? What is it? What is it? Don't tell me it's a What is this? Yo, that's a massive rock bass. Boys, the squat did it. And my timer went off. Let's go. That might be my PB rock bass with the bent hook and everything. No freaking way. All right, timer. Shut up. Shut up. No way. I was going to title this video, oh, how to catch a smallie, but I might have to say how to try to catch a smallie and end up catching a rock bass. All right, just caught this rock bass. I mean, it might be, he's honestly close to my personal best for a rock bass ever. There you go, oh, you're going the wrong way. No, come back, come back. You're going the wrong way, where are you going? He's going to the rocks. That's why he's called a rock bass. Look at him just chilling there. That's awesome. I gotta help him out. Cause that was not a proper release. All right, bud. There you go. There he goes. Oh, he's off. He's off. My foot is completely drenched. And I'm wearing khakis. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. We didn't get skunk today. Yeah, I mean, rock bass in the bag. We're gonna try to catch some smallies and stick at it. I still got like an hour or so to catch fish, so that's the plan. The bite's just warming up. Stay tuned. Currently, we're walking to the next spot. But guys, I figured out if the re if I do not if I don't end up catching any fish today, I figured out the reason why 
is because I forgot my gosh darn necklace. I always forget it. It's my lucky charm. Like, I'm not superstitious. I'm just a little stitious, but no, on a serious point. Yeah, that thing is just like my little lucky charm. <laughs> I just want one smallmouth bass. That would be so cool if I could just get, catch one. Is that a fish? Oh, that's definitely a fish. No! He came off! What the f? No way! That felt bigger too. Are you f? Oh my god. That irks me. That f irks me. This f What a f And trust me, I would be yelling way louder. But there's a bunch of people around. And I don't want to... Like... I don't want to annoy them. It's <laughs> basically what I'm trying to say. Damn it, dude. That was definitely a smallie. Or it definitely felt like a smallie anyway. No way. No way! He was right there! Oh. <laughs> That's insane! Dude! Chill, chill, chill. Guys, that is how you catch a smallmouth bass with a Ned rig. I knew I was hooked up before. Look at that fish, so beautiful. He was just chill, oh, I just dropped my reel in the water. He was just chilling right on that rock. Beautiful smallie. Let me get him in the light for you guys. Such a pretty fish. All right, we're gonna get a release. <laughs> See you, bud. I hooked up like over there, and then he came off. But I knew there was a fish over there, so I cast like right by a rock down there. And as I was reeling it in, I saw him eat it. It was the sickest thing ever. Awesome. All right, let's get another. That guy was sitting, literally just like maybe five yards in front of me in the water so you never know what it could hold i literally it was it was actually really cool i was just like playing around and i could see my bait so i was like bringing it over this rock i let it sit on top and then i gave it a little twitch and let it fall to the bottom just as like i don't know just to like see what would happen just to like watch it fall <laughs> and as it fell the small just absolutely smoked it. Lake Champlain, I've conquered you this time. <sighs> Alright guys, I think that's going to be it for today. Don't forget, smash the like button. Makes me happy, supports the channel, just causes nothing but good vibes. And yeah. Again, thank you so much for watching. I think I'm going to call it a day. Turn around and enjoy beautiful Lake Champlain.